sweet home for the night. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Today we got a special one. We're heading out trout fishing. We're also going to be doing some open fire cooking as well as I'm camping in the truck tonight. It's early December and it's one o'clock right now in the afternoon. It is 45 degrees with the sun out. So I figured perfect little day into the night into tomorrow to do some trout fishing and um, some cooking over the fire as well as some camping. Should be a fun one. Let's get to the spot. We got about an hour drive and then um, yeah, hopefully we get the line snapping, get that rod bent. Let's go do it. There's one. That was cool. Just gonna get him out quick, seeing I foul hooked him. There he goes. That was sweet. Let's go. Jeez, this is awesome. Doing the old twister. Little brown. Little guy. A little too shallow for you. There he goes. Finally. All right. Sorry, bud, we're, but we're gonna do this quick. All right, as long as you don't stick me. Nice little brown again. All right, coming down to last light here. Finally, we're getting some bites. Getting them on this very small little brown trout looking Rapala. Pretty sweet, huh? There. Just kind of twitching it. Another little brownie. Oh, now there he goes. Beautiful little sunset here. All right, so we stayed out until dark trying to fish, trying to catch something decent, but a couple small ones, nothing huge. That's all right. I'm gonna go try and find some firewood and then we'll get dinner started. It's gonna be a dark night. Got a lot of lights. All right, so what we got tonight is a little tinfoil packet with pepper, sausage, onion, and potatoes. We're gonna get some stuff cut up and then put together. Fire shouldn't take long to get ready. This is kielbasa. Some butter. And we 
got a little slap your mama. Get this wrapped up and then we'll just wait for the fire. While the coals are getting made, I am gonna make my bed for the night. Sleeping on one side back here. Get it ready so that after dinner I can just hop in and call it quits. I'll show you what we're rolling with after I get it all ready. Here's home sweet home for the night. I got a, let's see here. I got a big fluff comforter under there. This is a, like a zero degree old school bag. I got another big old comforter for the top. It's supposed to get down to like 30 degrees tonight. So I should be plenty warm, I'm thinking. Um, but this is kind of a first test run for um, winter camping out on the ice. I'm planning on not using my heater throughout the night. So I wanted to test these bags that I have before. This is obviously a lot of stuff to bring out ice fishing, but fire is almost ready. So we're going to toss that food on and then uh, we're just going to hang out. See my breath, it's getting cold. Should be a fun night. I'm like in a state park and there's like zero campers here. So kind of nice being in the in the truck versus a little tent. We'll see how it goes. Let's get that food on. All right, it's about seven o'clock and we don't have too many coals. So I'm just gonna get it just set up on the side here. So at least it'll start getting warm. Then I'm gonna shove coals in under it once we, once the fire burns down a little bit. Sweet. Potatoes are good. I'm just gonna let it cool off naturally. And then it'll hopefully suit. Everything will kind of soak up some juices. Let's see if I can do this without spilling everything. All right, I don't know what y'all can see, but we got our huge plate of hobo stew-ish mixture. Potatoes bomb. Everything is cooked perfect. Big old piece of sausage. All right, I'm gonna eat some of this and then save the rest for morning. It's nice that it's getting down to freezing so I can just pop the bag outside. It'll be I got a little refrigerator. Hope it doesn't get frozen. Woo, all right. Fire is out. Let's go find our spot. 38 degrees out right now. Got the heat cranked. It'll be nice and warm when I bundle in, change into some nice sweatpants and some flannel. So hopefully that'll help keep me warm. Gonna get cozied in and then um, hit the hay because we got trout fishing in the morning. I'm gonna hike for a while and try to get try to get on a good bite. So we'll see what happens. We'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> it's 
34 and balmy. I'm ready for some coffee. I'm ready for some trout. Let's go. Coffee, food, done. Let's go catch some trout. Perfect. There's one. First little brown of the morning. What's up, buddy? Nice little brownie there. Sweet, sweet. First one of the morning. Hopefully there's a lot more to it. Later, bud. And that was just on a little brown trout colored Rapala crankbait, whatever you want to call it. It's a little bit better one. Sweet little brown leader, buddy. There's one. Not a monster, but really cool. All right. Later, buddy. There we go. There's a better one. Nice. All right. Here we go. There we go. That's probably a nice 12, 12 incher. Sweet fish. That's one of the little bit bigger ones that I was seeing turn on, turn on the old crankbait. So Let's see if we can get another one. Sun's out, heating up a little bit. Feels good. Got a couple under the belt. It's just, it's just that the, I think the water's so dang clear that they're getting spooked. There's one. Nice little brownie there. Oh my goodness. Dude, there are some nice fish in here. Holy smokes. Where's that bruiser? Right there. Holy shit. That's a freaking tanker. All right, guys, I'm just heading back now. The water is so clear. It's just 
they're just getting spooked right away. Even if you're further away from them, they just don't like it. Now, if you had the fly rod and a fly, what they're what they're eating, what the hatch is, I think you'd do pretty good. Might have to bring mine out next time because it's actually pretty open here versus a bunch of timber hanging off the shorelines where you can get snagged up. I always hate that. bunch of trouters out today alrighty that's gonna do it for today caught a few trout no big ones that I was hoping for but what can you do about that I think if I had my fly rod it would be a different story being a little bit more natural presentation with how clear the water was thinking that if I came back when after like a little rain where the water was a little mucked up I think the I think the big boys wouldn't be as skittish and um, pop it a lot more fish would be popping probably but still had a fun time doing the old uh car camping truck camping suv camping whatever you want to call it and i uh, had some good food and beautiful weather it's 50 degrees out now with the sun and you can't ask for much more in december in minnesota so anyways thanks y'all for watching we'll see you guys next time